show me what you do when you uh, want to stunt on them haters. Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my nature channel. It's where uh, I explore nature and, uh, I don't know, see what's up with it. Wow. Wow. Now that's a rock. Sure. Boy, those are some roaring waters. Damn. Hey guys, and welcome to the golf section of my nature channel. Uh, right now we're on the first hole. Uh, Pitt is 150 yards away, a par three. Uh, hopefully I can par this hole, so. Uh... He's just uh, an amazing, amazing uh, player in that uh, you can't really predict what he's gonna do. You know, he's never been consistent, uh, except for his short game has been consistent. Especially the driving, a lot like Tiger Woods, his driver's never been reliable. Hey guys, and welcome to my stand-up comedy channel. This is where I uh, test out my material on my friends for my next stand-up show. You guys hear about the screaming elephant? Me either. Did you hear about the time Mickey Mouse got injured? His therapist did. Do you guys know why grass grows? <laughs> because Jesus forgot about us? By the way, tickets are on sale for my May 24th improv show at uh, San Jose Improv. Stop by and check me out. Hey everyone, Jenna's here! Hi. So you know what that means! <laughs> Oh, hey. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to my taste test channel. Summer is right around the corner, and uh, what better way to treat yourself during summer than to have some flavored sparkling water? So we're here to decide what the uh, strongest flavored sparkling water is. The best substitute for pop. Yeah. Okay. What is the best pop Soda. substitute? Got Perrier. We got... Bye. Bye Bubbles. And we got... Lacroix. La Croix. La Croix. Now they're all similar flavors. They're all pineapple flavors, so there's consistency. Pelier. Yeah. Pineapple and mango. Pineapple oh. and mango Pelier. Sign me up. <sighs> right when it hits your tongue, you're like, yes. But then about a second later, you're like, oh. Like, um, like aspartame, kind of? No. Oh. No, that's good. That's a really strong flavor. I like it. What do you think? It's really sweet. Mm. It tastes just kind of like pineapple juice, but like watered down. Okay, I'll give it a six. I'm going to give it an eight. I'll give it a five. It goes away too quick for me. Bye, bubbles. Oh, yeah. This one is uh, Peru pineapple. I do like the look of the can. I like, yeah. the, like the black top. It's very... I'm a fan. It is weird. It smells like beet. Yeah. yeah. Two. Two? Two. I'd give it a three. I would also give it a two. Pineapple, strawberry. I think I'm gonna like this. The claw. La Fou. Ooh, smells good. Strawberry. I Smell love it. LaCroix. I'll say it. That's the, one? the least flavor out of all oh. of them. Is it good though? No. I don't like it. Yeah, it's not bad at all. This is my favorite. Really? Not your favorite? Yeah. I'd say. I wouldn't give it a 9 yeah, or would, 10, though. I would probably I, give I would it a adjust four. that to. What did I say that was? A 6? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I would give this a, uh, an 8. I'm going to hone in right at a 7. So, the official rankings are by Bubbles in last place with 7 points total. 
And then we have a tie for the top. Lacroix and Perrier, both with totals of 19. So it comes down to your personal preference. Uh, the Perrier is a little sweeter and heavier, and the Lacroix is lighter. Just don't buy that. Yeah, don't buy buy. That's really <laughs> bad. Don't buy that. Don't buy buy. Don't buy buy. I'd like to remind everyone that I'll be at the San Jose Improv. Uh, my, my